We live in challenging times, and it's right that we should have a public and formal celebration of our national flag. Not yet a year has passed since this very place was cast into turmoil by an act of terror. Lives were lost and our habitual feelings as Australians of safety and security were dashed. And in the ensuing days and weeks, when the very best of this city shone forth, amongst the I'll ride with yous and the empty florists, amongst the tears and the heartache, I realised that there was something indicative of what today is all about amongst the people of Australia. In tough times, and in times of unassuredness, we look to our flag. Its familiarity and its permanent ingrainment in all of our lives, and we take heart. It emboldens us and makes us feel all the safer. As that tragedy played out, scattered amongst the many floral tributes just up the way, were dozens if not hundreds of Australian flags. It does not represent intolerance, it symbolises the broad-mindedness and the egalitarian nature inherent in the Australian people. The values of mateship that come so naturally to all us Aussies. It does not represent hatred. It cries out for the goodness in man and represents the freedoms that we enjoy every day and the hopes that are only made possible by living in a country as beautiful as ours. It does not represent a colonial past. It represents our present, and a future forged in camaraderie and fire, but in ingenuity and enduring spirit also. I welcome the proclamation of September the 3rd as Flag Day, and I would encourage all Australians to join in celebration of our foremost national symbol.